Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. I'm Randolph Miller. Coming up in today's show, a North Charleston community is ready to fight back against a recent crime wave that hit the city in recent weeks. The coalition, known as People United to Take Back Our Community, wants to rally residents to fight guns and drugs in their community. Local activists Elder James Johnson and Reverend Thomas Dixon will be here to tell us more about it. And a local nonprofit organization called Jenkins Orphanage, along with the Palmetto Primary care physicians and the Carolina studios have all partnered to bring the Roots of Jazz Music Festival to benefit Jenkins Orphanage. We will speak with some of the organizers and committee members of this event. And coming up later in the show, we will have a special performance by Mr. Blues Williams. You don't want to miss that. Standing next to me, Elder James Johnson and Pastor Thomas Dixon. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you. Now let's talk about this recent crime wave. There's a lot in the news about gun control. Right. What do you want to tell us about that? Well, in our community, it's nine millimeters. You know, recently we talked about the assault weapons that mm -hmm. that's killing, uh, you know, school kids and all over the nation. But in the poor community, in the black community, they're using the nine millimeter that's so easily gotten in our community for forty dollars. So. Mm. What we we'll want to do is find out exactly where this gun is, is coming from, and we understand it's, a lot of it is being stolen, but it's a lot of a lot of it is also is, is being tracked that they are bringing guns it's being brought into the brought community. Into the community, yes, mm -hmm. by um, I would state gun runners, mm -hmm. and it's so easily getting in our community, but it's very cheap, and that's what's killing our people. So what are some of the things you all have planned to fight back <clears throat> this situation? Well, what we're going to do, we are planning, we plan, we're working with North Charleston uh, police chief, uh, the new police chief there, and trying to go in the community, and we are planning, we're planning 50 to 60 young men, so we're trying to get men in that community to where the, the trafficking of drugs and guns is to actually go in night on patrol and just stand there and no confrontation with the, those people and that's you know committing those crimes but just stand there now have are you targeting um, certain communities with the situation that's going on uh, do you have so how, how are you how, how do you know where to go okay <laughs> we're um, we're currently uh, targeting, actually, uh, the, the Wayland community off Dorchester Road, uh, just off I-26 in North Charleston. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're not specifically uh, limited to that target area because we know that the same problems exist in inner city communities, not only throughout the low country, but throughout, throughout the United States. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to track by, by uh, collecting data the success of whatever we do and hopefully we'll be able to duplicate that in communities other communities that have been identified where we can go in and and redo the same thing okay so how well is this program being embraced by the members of the community uh, we're in the we're in the offing stages right now, so we're just introducing ourselves to the community. Uh, over the next week, we'll be flooding the community with flyers, um, announcing our uh, our presence in the community, and um, we're going to move from that to an introductory parade slash march through the community, where we'll be. Um, 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 more or less introducing ourselves further to the community, but after that comes an actual door-to-door -door campaign. There will, there will not be a door in that community where we won't knock on and ask to be a participant in this. See, one of the foundational principles of what the coalition does is we're, we are attempting to bring people out once again to get involved in their communities. Mm -hmm. We're trying to restore the, the, the unity to the community and the neighbor back to the hood. Okay, so now, are you expecting these individuals just to bring you the guns or? No, not at all. We expect an individual in that particular community to leave with the guns. If they, if they have the guns, we don't want them in the community anymore. And what we have to do for that, we have to educate the community. Mm -hmm. The police department and myself and Pastor Dixon can't get rid of the crime in that community. In that community, the mm -hmm. community is going to have to do it. So, in recent weeks, we are having a weekly meetings at one of the schools and one of the churches in the community mm -hmm. to educate the people and how they can get rid of the crime in their community. What are some of the mm -hmm. steps to do of doing this? Steps is that they need to know they don't need to be afraid to communicate with the police department, I'll communi communicate with the coalition. 
uh, we want to set up emails uh, uh, to where someone can get in uh, on their computer and give a description of somebody they think that's selling drugs without even being known. You know, mm -hmm. uh, they can make a phone call, an anonymous phone call, and don't have to be uh, known that they made that phone call. I think the people are afraid of retaliation in that community. So, along with the police department and other organization, we want to let them know that they can go ahead and communicate communicate with the, you know these uh, officials and get these drugs and crime out of the community and lock up the people that are committing those crimes. Okay, now is this the only community right now, or will there be other? You know, um, it started with Ashley Shores some year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. You know, it started there where we put uh, the owners, uh, we convinced the owner to put cameras in the community. So Did that um, help? it helped. It lowered the crime rates a whole lot in Ashley Shores. And what we want to do is that we want other communities to get involved so they can, you know, it's ironic, ironic that the people will think that selling drugs on the street corner. It's, it's normal, but that's not normal. Mm -hmm. And we need, they need to know that. Uh, uh, gun fires in, at, at night, it's not normal. We okay. need to get that mm -hmm. out of the community. So we have to educate the people on how to get those things out of the community. Mm -hmm. Okay, but Pastor Dixon, are, are the churches being involved also? Uh, to, at this point now, um, we have not uh, specifically reached out to the churches. What we're expecting uh, as far as church participation is that the congregation members in each community will see the value of what we're doing and will go back to their pastors and talk to their pastors and saying, you know, I really do think that this is something that we want to get involved in. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll be just as candid as I can be as saying this, you know, the churches in the communities have over the last 40 years not done very much in order to stem the tide of crime and violence within their communities. Mm -hmm. So we, Elder Johnson and myself being pastors, we decided that we weren't going to talk about any action anymore. We're going to be about it. Mm -hmm. So last June we started. We had our first, first function uh, post Ashley Shores was down in the Shakur Cherokee area. We left from there. We had another event and we've been down in there uh, preaching about Stop the Violence, teaching about Stop the Violence uh, down in the Gaston Green community. Um, form or Bayside Manor, we've been in that community, uh, but not in the with the initiative that we're launching in the Wayland right now. Mm -hmm. The Wayland initiative is on an entirely different level because we intend to blanket this area with a new mindset. We believe if you change the mind, you can change the man. Okay. We believe if we change the man, we can change the neighborhood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the North Charleston Police Department mm -hmm. have they embraced you with this? Well, well. Mm -hmm. We, we've had meetings with the police chief, and he, he want to work with us okay. you know, very much. Chief, the, the former uh, uh, police chief, Chief Zumat, he, was, he worked with us 100%. Okay. So uh, they know that the policemen cannot, the police department can't do, can't do the work by mm -hmm. themselves. So what we're trying to do is have the community feel comfortable with the police department and, and telling exactly what's going on next door to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to thank you, uh, mm -hmm. James Johnson and Pastor Dixon, for stopping yes. by and sharing with us mm -hmm. what's thank going you. to happen. And we're hoping that the community will get involved mm -hmm. and that it won't just stop at Ashley Shores and Wayland, no. but it will also have an, if, an effect on all of the other areas that uh, deal with the, the guns and the drug mm -hmm. violence. That's the goal of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We well, have information you. for you. And uh, we want people to pay attention to the information and, and become a part of what the coalition yes. is doing. Stay here with us. Roots of Jazz Music Festival to benefit Jenkins Orphanage is coming up in April, on April the 13th. We will speak with some of the organizers and committee members in this next event.